week in my life in New York City. I just got back from LA. I was in LA for the national championship, Georgia versus TCU. I am so sorry to my TCU followers because Georgia did win. And it was an amazing time for us. Um, and I met so many of you guys, so thanks for saying hey. But I'm home and I'm back. Last January I had this resurgence of like wellness, fitness, all the things, and it's definitely happening to me again. Just like a lot of people in the world, this happens during this time of year. Um, I'm actually home for the next few weeks so I can get back into a routine. And I just went to Whole Foods and I just got a ton of stuff that I wanna show you guys. I was so mad at myself because I went straight from the gym, so I didn't have like my big tote bags, which I felt really bad about, and it's harder to carry these bags, but Whatever, I'll just walk around your city like this. Um, I'm actually getting HelloFresh this week, which I'm really pumped about, so I don't have to worry about meals, which is huge for the program, really. So I, I still have got two bags worth of stuff somehow. Um, let's do it. So I wanted to get just some more healthy snacks, some lunch stuff. I always struggle with lunch, like I never know what to eat for lunch. So um, I just did some inner thinking, things I like, whatever, some snacks that I had when I was home that my dad gave me. I was like, ooh, like this is a good idea, whatever. So I got a cucumber. <laughs> I got this cucumber and I got this Cedars red pepper hummus. When I was at home, my dad like put out sliced cucumbers and this red pepper hummus and it was such a good combination. So I wanted to try it for myself. Even though I love Ithaca hummus, the red pepper was really good with the cucumber. I got arugula and then I got some microgreens. Microgreens to have for breakfast with like my eggs and toast and avocado or on sandwiches. You guys know I've been really into my cauliflower sandwiches with like turkey, tomato, etc. And then arugula to make my favorite salad. That salad consists of Italian dressing. I don't use salad dressing a lot, but when I do, it's Italian dressing or like a balsamic vinaigrette. Um, oh, I should have gotten lemon, that would have been good. But I love this Primal Kitchen Italian dressing. And then I also will put some sort of chicken cutlet situation on there. These are the cauliflower or cauliflower chicken tenders. They're made with a coating of rice flour and cauliflower, so it feels a little bit more nutritious. And then also on that salad, I like to put some grape tomatoes or cherry tomatoes sliced in half with mozzarella. Oh my gosh, it is so good. It's actually filling. That's like my biggest goal in life is to find things that actually fill me up. Another lunch thing I'm gonna try, turkey burgers. I've had them before, um, but I'm just gonna put these in my freezer, question mark? Or fr yeah, in my freezer. Turkey burgers, I got American cheese and putting like a tomato and arugula on top and eating it like without bread or with bread, whatever I'm feeling that day. Um, but I think I can make it pretty filling without if I want or with like a cauliflower thin situation. I did get popcorn cause whenever Ryan and I hang out, it's nice to just have some popcorn or feel like a friend's over. Popcorn just hits and this skinny pop, ooh, the skinny pop popcorn is so good. Another snack idea I got from my friend she said she dips, she'll like cut up red peppers and dip them into hummus or like Trader Joe's everything but the bagel dip. So I got some red peppers. We're gonna see how I like this. I like red peppers, but I've never done that. I got two tomatoes to put on like turkey burgers or like my cauliflower sandwich I've been doing. And then oh, my produce bowl's gonna be popping. I got bananas. This just feels so good to be doing some good for my body. I got apples, it's one of my favorite snacks. I got blueberries and a bag of avocados, organic avocados. So I'm gonna put all this away. I've got one thing in my produce bowl right now, star fruit, which it needed to ripen over the weekend, so I think I'm gonna eat this shortly before it's not good anymore. This is very satisfying, like putting all my produce in this bowl. The avocados, wow, I don't even know if this is gonna all fit because my hack is I put to ripen the avocados because really none of these are ready to eat. I put, one of you commented it, bananas, like ripe bananas with your avocados and apparently it makes them like ripen faster. And it, not apparently, it has worked. So, got a whole situation going there and I really love it. I just realized that I accidentally bought English cucumbers which I guess are skinnier. They taste exactly the same but they're just like not as ideal for dipping. <laughs> um, but I wanna try this, see if it's exactly what I remember. Getting our life together this week, you guys. Cheers. Mmm. That's it, that's it, so good. All right, I just put together myself a salad after I had that little snack. I just like was so hungry. Um, we did the chicken, tomatoes, mozzarella, put a little 
um, microgreens on top using this salad dressing. I wish this had a better pour because I feel like I just like pour so much. I need to like get something on Amazon where I put the salad dressing into because I just don't want to over pour. Got to get the perfect bite. Chicken, mozzarella, tomato, and some lettuce. Cheers. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Just took all my supplements and then I actually also just took a few of these wellness formulas after I travel, stuff like that. Um, when I'm just like a little bit more worn down I got these because Clara Purse talked about them and they seriously have kept me from like getting sick I feel like so you you don't take them every day. You just take them when They say you're supposed to take if you feel a tickle in your throat I don't feel a tickle in my throat, but I just know I was around a ton of people this weekend and I traveled So I'm just gonna take those today got some water I want to try and use this chlorophyll that I got at air one in LA It's totally worth the hype that grocery store is so amazing I think you just put, it says, take 15 drops in a cup of water one to three times per day. I want to do this for some glowing skin. I've heard chlorophyll is great. So yeah, what I've heard and when I researched, chlorophyll is obviously found in plants. Like I literally remember in like my plant bio class, we talked about the chlorophyll you find in plants. So it's basically extracting the greens from the plants and putting it into your body, which is incredible. It's good to help reduce inflammation. Like all these things, you can look it up. Um, I've never really tried it though. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wow, it is um, colorful, huh? Wow, that's gorgeous. I what I was gonna say was I don't know. It smells like it has a little bit of a taste. All right, I hope I like it. It's a lot of drops. Oh, it almost has like a minty taste. It's not bad. I can do it. We'll do it. I'm gonna add a little bit of lemon juice because I feel like that might give it a fun little taste. Let's see. Oh, yep. That's it. That's that's the secret ingredient. The lemon and the mint together tastes so good. All right, you heard it here for, for first. You heard it here first. Chlorophyll with some lemon water or lemon juice and water. Yeah. Gonna do some laundry now and unpack. I have my fully packed suitcase from LA still last night, so I would like to unpack today. Do any laundry. I have a lot of laundry from before I even left. I don't even know how that all built up, but I'm gonna get that done. But first, I need to shower because I've literally been sitting on my computer for three hours getting stuff done, and I was like, I worked out today, I need to shower. Okay, I just showered, and one of my New Year's goals is to put lotion on my body after I shower. I just never really do it, I don't know why. Today, I'm gonna use the Loon or Lula hand and body lotion or I'll use like L'Occitane, something like that. So I'm gonna do that. But I also wanted to ask you guys, my spray tan's coming off really weird this time. I think because we were at the football game on Monday, it was raining and I was also sweating. And so this doesn't usually happen, but what is y'all's favorite product to use to remove spray tan? I have like a scrubber in there, but I feel like I, I used to have like a spray tan remover, like color remover and you would like scrub it and like use it in the shower or whatever. So let me know if you guys have a favorite product for that. I also just got this package from Face Gym. I love going to the Face Gym. They like literally do a workout on your face. And I'm so excited that they sent me this. This is the Lift Wear Lift and Brighten Vitamin C and Bio Ferment Gel Cream. Anyways, this stuff has patchouli in it, I think, or um, something like that. It smells so good. Yeah, this stuff's good. Also, I feel like I say this like every night when it starts to get dark, but my apartment is a vibe right now. Oh. We didn't even talk about the fact I moved my mirror to the corner. I'm very happy about it. Once I took my Christmas tree down last week, I knew I wanted to put my mirror back there. I just think it really opens up the space. I really like having my table here. It's just way more convenient and that's that. So now here is blank. <laughs> I'm like obsessed with mirrors. I'm like, should I get one of those cool squiggly mirrors? Like just like a little one up here or should I get a work of art, a piece of art? Um, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think I should put there I don't want it to get in the way of this lamp because that was happening with the mirror when it was over here anyways um, So it'd be something I'd probably put higher up like a smaller piece I really like those like organic shaped mirrors. I think they would look really good and just help reflect light. I just love mirrors 
Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think down below. My HelloFresh just came in the mail and I'm very happy with the meals. We're working with them on the podcast. Whenever we do podcast reads for them, they send us a box for the week and it's my favorite week ever. First up, we have Southwest Beef Cavatappi. You guys know I love pasta. Sesame soy pork bowls, definitely something I would eat. And I mean, this is just me and a meal. No, I'm kidding, but you know, the green beans. Crispy kicking cayenne chicken cutlets. So yummy, I can't wait to make all of these meals. Already dark outside. I am headed somewhere very exciting. My best friend, Delaney, moved to New York City while I was in LA. Timing was terrible on my part. I didn't realize she'd be moving when she did, and I felt so bad, but she came with her mom and like she had some other friends help her out this past weekend. So I was like, as soon as you're done with work today, I'm coming over, and she was like, and I, I mean, I was fully planning on eating here. I have HelloFresh, and she was like, and I'll make us like dinner like we used to make as roommates. Like she's gonna make one of her favorite meals, like Trader Joe's turkey meatballs with pasta and garlic bread. She makes the best garlic bread, and I literally wanted to sob. This is her first time having her own space, like living alone, um, and I know it's probably a really big adjustment for her, so I, want to make it as easy as I can um, I love living alone and she's always wanted to live alone so I think she's like excited she's just like doesn't know what to do with herself so I am so excited to head over there now um, I'm getting all bundled up sneakers on gonna take the train because it seems to be the fastest I'll probably uber back when it gets later but it's only like six now um, but yeah, I'm gonna stop at the grocery store and get her some flowers. I, I'm assuming she doesn't have a vase yet, like a flower vase, so I put one in my tote bag, um, and I'm gonna bring them to her and I'll like put them on a vase. So I was like, oh, she doesn't have a table yet. She doesn't have any furniture from what I understand. I'm so excited to see her apartment. Um, but I was talking to my mom about it and she was like, she probably has a counter. I was like, you're right, she does have a kitchen counter. So yeah, we are headed over to Delaney's for the night. It's such a dream come true to have my best friend living here. I can't wait for just like so many nights like this, just making dinner together and hanging out. I'm seriously so blessed, so thankful, so excited. Got laundry going. So let's go get some flowers for her and then head over to her apartment. Guys, I'm in Delaney's new apartment. Hello. Can we talk about the vibes? Like, you clearly curated them already. Oh, totally. Like, ugh, the wine rack, all oh, the photo, the candle it smells amazing. So good, the lovely new flowers. Oh yes, yes, they look so good. Oh, those are the flowers that you have, so cute. Love. Guys, why is Delaney's microwave like sexy? Like, it literally looks like an iPad. This is so nice. I love it. She doesn't have any furniture yet, but look at this exposed brick, I'm obsessed. I can't wait to see what you do with the space. I, I sound like a TV show. And after yes, later. before. <laughs> wow, this looks amazing. Well, Thank you so much. I am so excited. Delaney's famous garlic bread. So good. <laughs> wow, it's giving Sex and the City. I don't know why, it just is. And I love it. tea it's 10 30 now i don't want to stay up too late tonight because i'm going to pilates in the morning but i did everything i wanted to do this today except for unpack i just kept forgetting about it because i was in there and then i came in here and i was like oh my gosh my suitcase got laundry going oh, i need to fold some of that um but i'm gonna unpack first because that's just the mood i'm in i'm just gonna lay everything here in sections and then put them away as i see fit um, but Delaney's apartment was so nice. It had the best vibes. Like, it just felt really good in there, which I feel like is really important for your space to feel good. We get together her TV stand. She's getting her couch literally tomorrow. Um, she already has, like, her bed and everything. She's getting a dresser tomorrow. I think I'm going to stop by tomorrow after I record the podcast with Brooke, so I'm going to be in the Lower East Side. But, yeah, I'm just so happy. It's so surreal to have her here. Like, it's so comforting to know that she's here. 
and I can't wait to hang out with her all the time. So yeah, let's unpack. That feels really good. I can close this up. However, now I do need to hang up these clothes. They were like from my suitcase and some packages I opened. Put them up there. And I just took my darks out of the wash or the dryer. So I need to fold those. I'll probably put like Emily in Paris on or something and watch that while I fold. That's kind of my thing. Put a little bit of lavender essential oil. My essential oil diffuser. I literally just got this at Target. For those wondering, you can find them on Amazon. Um, and then I got this when I was in LA, but just any sort of lavender essential oil. I like turning this on like 30 minutes before I go to bed and then shutting the door so that when I come in here, it smells so good. Like I can just see it coming out. It smells so good. It's relaxing. Lavender is very relaxing. I love it. I'm going to shut the door so the lavender smells nice and good when I open it later. And I just lit this lavender eucalyptus candle from Target as well, um, just to kind of get me to wind down as I fold laundry. to Pilates. I, since I've been going to Pilates a lot, I invested in some Pilates socks. They weren't too expensive. I got on Amazon a pack of three. They have seriously helped so much with Pilates. They just have like stickies on the bottom. And so when you're doing stuff barefoot, like on the reformer machine, you don't slip as much. So that's nice. Or you go barefoot, but I find these sticky things are great. This is my workout set today. It's from Set Active. I really like it. It's like this gray color. I'm just gonna finish getting ready and then we're gonna go. So it's 42 degrees and raining. <laughs> Woo! So I definitely wanna wear like a sweatshirt over this. This zip up jacket is like the same color as this. Not that it literally matters at all. I'm gonna go to Pilates and just come right back and get ready for the day. We have a podcast recording today and then two meetings and we're just gonna do it all at Brooke's apartment um, so I also that means I'm gonna need to make myself a lunch pack some snacks which I really hope I have time to do I think I will I'll just get ready fast oh, I'm gonna wear my like black puffer that I was wearing yesterday it's just down the hall and then I know I probably shouldn't be wearing shoes with the Pilates socks I should probably change it to my Pilates socks when I get there but I'm lazy. It's raining, so might as well wear these like snow slash, I guess you, they could be rain boots. They're from Sorel. I got them last winter and I really like them. They're so comfortable and they're obviously like waterproof, good to be in snow, all the things. I think I got them on Revolve actually. And I think they're pretty cute. They're kind of like combat boot vibes. I was gonna wear my Uggs just now, but I was like, why would I wear Uggs in the rain? I feel like I'm gonna be late to this class, but you don't really need to set up really. So, and I, I, don't, I still am like new to Pilates that when I sit down, everyone's warming up. I'm like, what do I do? Final touch, this jacket. Ugh, I wish the sun was out, but apparently it's gonna be sunny this morning, so, or this, this morning, this weekend. So, and it's already Thursday. 
I love that. Getting strapped up here. Got my tote bag, my water, and all the things. Let's go to Pilates. That was such a great start to my day. I made a friend. She was like, I've seen you in the class before this. Like, hey. We had the same snow boots. So, gotta love just making new connections. Nice people. Um, it was hard, but I just love it. It's just so, it's like weirdly relaxing. New York Pilates is, because they play like chill music, like you hear in like a cool hotel lobby or something. I think that's why I like it. And, I don't know. And now I'm like worked out for the day. I feel good. I'm gonna get in the shower. I'm hungry for some breakfast. I just had like some toast before I left. So I think I'm gonna do good old egg and avocado situation. Light a candle. And I didn't actually have coffee this morning. So I'm gonna like have my hot cup of coffee sit on the couch. That situation. And then we're gonna get ready for the day. I stopped by Press Juicery on my walk back. I got this for later when I'm at Brooks. It's a chocolate banana protein smoothie. It is seriously so good and pretty filling. Honestly, maybe I should have this right now. I don't know. It's banana, monk fruit, almond butter, pea protein, cacao, vanilla extract, sea salt, and cinnamon. It's delicious. And then I got a greens to juice for some point. And then I did their um, shot bundle, which you can get six shots. So I obviously did six of the wellness shots, which is ginger, lemon, and cayenne. Um, so I'm gonna put all these away as well. Hi guys, so I just showered and ate breakfast. I got these headbands from Amazon because I was just on TikTok so much the last two weeks and every single person that would do these Get Ready With Me's wore these headbands and I had to get them. I got these in a pack of two on Amazon and they are just, they really hold your hair back and I like how they're taller because then your hair can't like fall forward. Like it's really just protected and they're so cute and you feel so fabulous while wearing it. So love that. But yeah, I'll link these headbands down below because I'm obsessed with them. I need to match my foundation correctly to my neck because my spray tan's like just coming off such a weird way. And I don't like when your neck doesn't match your face, obviously. But yeah, going to Brooke's apartment today to record an episode of Gals on the Go. I'm really excited because, well, we're recording a really fun episode. I'm not going to say because this video is going up before the podcast, but it's a really fun episode you guys are gonna see the title and be like "Ooh, i'm interested um so i'm excited about that i was prepping for that and then um we have a meeting with emma who's literally our everything she's going on tour with us oh i didn't even like say it in this vlog because it's it might already be sold out but we announced it yesterday or no two days ago yes two days ago that we're going on tour a southeast tour we're going to for gals in the go live shows we're going to atlanta Orlando and Tampa. I'm so excited. We are doing two nights in Atlanta. We just would have announced this on Friday. So actually, if you're watching this, maybe Atlanta is not sold out the second night on February 9th. So if you just go to Gals in the Go podcast Instagram and check her out, um, there should be some good info there. Um, but I'm so excited. Like I can't believe we're coming to Tampa, like my hometown. Hometowns. I'm using this Kosas foundation today because it's like a lighter shade. Like, I could just cry. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to go to Atlanta. We're going to the Atlanta Punchline. I think it's a comedy club, which we love. It's like cool vibes in there. We're doing two nights because the first night sold out so fast. Um, and I hope like some people that go to Georgia come. Like, we just know we have so many Georgia followers because Brooke and I both went to University of Georgia and then Orlando Brooke and I have like lots of fond memories there We went to lots of like YouTube events there Brooke's family has a house near Orlando now And then Tampa is actually where Brooke and I met and then also like her parents used to have a house in Tampa um, and then 
my family still lives there. So we're really excited. We're definitely gonna be doing more shows, obviously, but right now, this is like our Galentine's tour. We're doing, it's so February 8th and 9th in Atlanta, and then February 15th in Orlando, and February 16th, Tampa. I'm like packing this foundation on today, but you know what, we're gonna be on camera. But yeah, so we're meeting with Emma today to, like we're flying her down with us cause like she literally runs the show, which is so helpful. Like while we're on stage, she does so much. Um, and then she also helps us with merch and the website, like literally everything. So yeah, we have that. And then we have like a merch call after that. So I'm just gonna stay at Brooks, just talking about um, like Gals in the Go merch for 2023, kind of like, our goals because we like to do a few merch drops throughout the year. It's so much fun. I'm using the Kosas concealer too. We're having a, a Kosas day. Um, so yeah, a really fun, productive day ahead. And then I think I already said this in the vlog, but I'm thinking to stop by Delaney's after um, since I'll be nearby. I know she has more furniture she needs to put together. I might be exhausted though, so we shall see. And I need to eat dinner at home tonight because I have this HelloFresh and I really want to cook it. So... That's kind of the layout for the day, but feeling really excited. I'm putting it out to inner inner and I'm okay that I can't speak. I'm putting it out into the universe that I'm going to stagecoach. I don't have tickets, I don't have any plans, but I'm going. So yeah, I like I'm trying to get a group of people together to like do a house because stagecoach was literally so much fun last year. It's where Coachella is, but it's all country music and the lineup's insane. Like ideally, I would bring Ryan because he's honestly who really got me into country music. I liked country music before I met him, but this MAC, whatever, Studio Fix Powder Plus Foundation is literally amazing. Like it just mats you up. And I like to be glowy, but when I'm like on camera, just, it's sometimes too glowy, you know? So I think I'm just gonna do powders mainly today. Well, I do love my Chanel bronzer. It's cream bronzer, but it's not super like bleh. Um, ooh, but I already put powder on it. That's okay, it's blending well. Oh, gosh, I'm saying so many things at once right now. I'm sorry, guys. But yeah, so trying to get a house together for Stagecoach. It is seriously so much fun. The best of vibes. You get to just wear cowboy boots all weekend. I'm like talking to a few of my friends about like starting to look at Airbnbs together and do all of that. I like was texting Shannon Ford, Katie Bellotti, maybe Colby, her friend, one of my friends now. Um, I was texting with Clara Purse. Who else? Oh, Kenzie Margot. Margot Osher I went with last year, but I'm pretty sure she's like doing it with her sister, I would assume this year. Um, she's who like gave me the tickets last year, which was really, really kind because her sister didn't end up going. Um, so, and I'm so happy that I went last year because I realized how much I love it and it's better than Coachella in my opinion, if you like country music. But I have great memories from Coachella as well. I just, I mean, who knows, maybe I'll be at Coachella this year, but I don't know, I wasn't obsessed with the lineup this year. Um, like the few years I went to Coachella, they were just like so good. Like they were just packed with it. But it also depends on like what music genre you like. We also this morning just locked down our Montauk house, so we're staying again in Montauk this summer for two weeks, me, Katie, and Brooke, and our friends come on the weekends. It was seriously so much fun last year, and I know you guys loved the content, and me, Brooke, and Katie just travel really, really well together, I think. So I'm really excited, I'm really grateful. Oh, I'm going to Greece in June. I guess this is just me giving you guys my travel updates now. I'm going to Greece in June with like my college friends. So like Delaney, Alex, Isabella, McKenna, like that group. If you guys even know what those names are when I say that. Um, we're doing like a Greece trip. One of my friends is like literally Alex. She's organizing everything, which I'm so grateful for. And we're going to Mykonos and Santorini. I'm so excited. I've been to Greece before, but this is gonna be so fun because we went to like so many different places when I went to Greece with Brooke. It was so much fun. We went with EF Ultimate Break. Um, which I highly recommend just to like see everything But this trip we're just doing two locations. I think just I think for a whole week and We are gonna like lounge by the pool and like do fun things during the day But like we're just gonna stay more put rather than traveling like from place to place so much It's just kind of stressful, especially there's like seven or eight of us Um, and in Mykonos we got this like beautiful Airbnb. I'm like, I don't know how we scored it. So very excited about that. I'm going to Miami in two weeks with 
um, my friends Kelly, Cass, and Seb. I'm so excited. We've had this planned forever, and I'm literally so excited. I've been, like, craving a Miami trip. Um, so, yeah, I'm really, there actually are definitely some trips on the horizon, and I'm very grateful for that. Um, so, yeah, if you watched this far into the vlog, you got the full-on travel updates. It's so funny as influencers, I feel like... <laughs> We're always like, guys, guess where I'm going? Like, I don't know why we never just, like, say. Like, I do it, too. I'll be like, oh, fun trips this year. Like, stay tuned. I don't know why I do that. Because you guys are my friends, and I want to tell you. Certain things, if it's, like, a brand trip, or if you, like, don't know you can say anything, like, I will definitely do. do. But, you know, it's fun to be like, this is what's happening this year. So, hopefully, the people that are going with me on these trips aren't mad that I announced it. But, I mean, we fully said we wanted to do Montauk again. Like, there is no surprise there. A little Hamptons moment. I'm really happy with my makeup today. Maybe the move right now is matte. Matte, matte, matte. My amber mug is literally the best. It keeps your coffee so hot. All right, I'm gonna continue to get ready, but that was just a little catch up. Okay, we're gonna be prepared queens. This is what I'm wearing for the podcast, by the way. She said she was just wearing a sweater and we just sit on her couch. So I'm just wearing like my flare leggings and this sweater from Zara. We're gonna make a lunch that I'm gonna bring with me to Brooks so that when I get hungry, I don't get hangry and then I have like a nutritious meal for myself to eat. Um, I don't know how long, no, I'm gonna put it in Tupperware. I'm gonna, Brooke is gonna die laughing when I walk in with Tupperware, but I have enough time, we're gonna do it. I'm gonna make my favorite, my famous, call, is this sweater just like not it? I don't know. Um, cauliflower thin, so I just, I keep a lot of them in the freezer, but I keep one in the fridge, like the ones I'm using. So good, I get them at Whole Foods, they have them at Trader Joe's as well. Um, I just put them in the toaster, they never really get crunchy, because like the cauliflower. But, I like to heat it up, and then I do turkey on it with tomato, which is over there, I'll get in a second. And typically I'll do arugula and microgreens as well. Am I forgetting something? I could do cheese, but I'm not going to. I don't usually do cheese. So, and then, oh, I have created this sub sauce, which is red wine, vinegar, olive oil, and oregano. It's so freaking good. It's kind of like what they use at, um, like, uh, Jersey Mike's, if you know, like, the sub sauce. They use it really public. Whatever, wherever you get your subs, like, the sub sauce. So good. So I'm going to make this. I'm a little worried that it's gonna get kind of gross with the sub sauce on it, but like it needs the sub sauce. I'm gonna see what Tupperware I can use. Maybe I'll bring like a little cup. I don't really know, but we're gonna do this. Okay, I made the sandwich. I'm just gonna like wrap it in paper towels and put it in Tupperware. Let's just hope this works out. <laughs> I'm literally cackling at all the things I'm bringing, but I'm a beverage girly and I don't like to be hungry and I'm proud to be there for like six hours. And all I've had today is breakfast. So I'm bringing the sandwich, an apple, ginger shot, Chocolate protein. So I may not consume all of this, but if I do, that's also good. Water, kombucha for like during the show. This, I don't know. I just, I want to be strapped. So we're going to pack all of this. Okay, I switched to this. The green I just like wasn't feeling. For some reason, this just feels super comfy. It's this Anine Bing sweatshirt. Leggings are from Split 59. And then I put my Sorrells back on because it's supposed to rain more. And I'm going to be doing some walking later. So packed lots of bags, of course. Got my tote bag here with all the stuff for the meetings, the podcast, all the things. And then I also have over here my my lunchbox, if you will. Um, so I am going to Uber over there, I think. Get over there and get started and catch up with Brooke. I haven't seen her. Good lighting Hi. at Brooke's apartment. We just sat and talked for like an hour. Yeah, we but catch up logistic things. Catch up and mustard. Yes. I put all my foods in the fridge. I'm going to take a ginger shot. Yeah, I was gonna text Danielle like, pack, pack a snack. Yeah, I have like pretzels and hummus, but I just I I know Danielle and she likes to have like Ravenous. nutritious meals, you know, like <laughs> not nutritious necessarily, filling. You, well, yeah, but you brought your fruit and everything. I like, did. You brought oh, your I'm fresh. trying. Yeah, I'm trying to like. I know. I love this for you. It's a lunchbox kind of day. Mm -hmm. You go, girl. We're gonna record and have fun and uh, see you there. And the episode's really fun. You guys are gonna like it. Guys, okay, recorded the podcast. It was such a good episode. You guys need to go listen to it. And then Emma came here and we basically finalized everything for the live shows in Orlando, Tampa, and Atlanta. Atlanta sold out, Orlando and Tampa, we still have tickets. Guys, I'm from Tampa. I need all my Tampa girlies. If you 
go to school near either one of Orlando or Tampa, like please come. These are the two main Florida cities that we will probably go to in the near future. Like I don't see us going to like anywhere else in the near future in Florida. So definitely come, it's gonna be so much fun. The shows, people have reacted so well to them. Like there's, it's literally the most fun time ever. So I'll have the links down below to Orlando and Tampa. We'll come back to Atlanta for sure because it literally sold out so fast, which makes sense, we went to college there. Um, so Orlando and Tampa, we're so excited. Anyways, um, good work day. Gonna go to Delaney's apartment now. Her couch got delivered and it's in the lobby and she can't carry it up herself, so I'm gonna help her. A real city girl. A real city girl. And then I'm gonna go home and make HelloFresh and get lots of work done. That sounds delish. Sounds delish. Just lifted Delaney's couch up the stairs. I'm really proud of us. Oh, they vacuum sealed this thing. Couch is here though. Yeah, I know, no, I think that's oh, why. It's, it's gonna, I love like, see, you can hear it I like know. unvacuuming. Oh, yeah. That's so satisfying, oh. wow. Oh. Looking good. How satisfying is oh, it God, to just like, after sitting on the floor for yes. Oh, it's gonna make the couch look so much higher. She looks so good. It's so comfy too. So comfy. Delaney already did the first sit, of course, but it's a good vibe, yes. love. Oh. We are back now. I just showered. I just like needed a shower off the day. I'm literally wearing this headband to keep my hair out of my face. Put lotion on, part of my New Year's goals, my PJs. We are gonna make a meal. I'm so hungry, it's like 7.30. I'm gonna do this meal tonight. It's like a whole thing. But HelloFresh always makes it easy, so I'm putting my trust in them. But I gotta like make the mashed potatoes, all things. But we're just gonna get to it now. This is probably the most similar to the photo meal I've made from HelloFresh ever. This honestly actually didn't take me that long and it looks so good. I'm so hungry. Let's go eat and I have leftovers. Oh, and now it's time to clean. I like started, I loaded the dishwasher, I'm gonna run it. And my counters, white counters, you know, you gotta clean even more. I had some potato fallout there. Let's get to cleaning. Okay, I forget when I last vlogged, but I basically ate dinner, FaceTimed with some people, and then I did like an hour's worth of work, just getting stuff done from the to-do list that we made today when we had all of our meetings, and I have some more work to do. I'm like such a late night worker. Like it's literally 11 o'clock, and now is when I wanna like respond to all my emails, I think, because then no one replies. And then in the morning I wake up and I just kind of let it all build up and then I just would rather time batch and just do all emails at the same time. I don't know. I have the privilege of being able to do that. I mean, certain emails I definitely respond to right away depending on, but I kind of enjoy it. Wow, that was really fast to heat up the water. But I think I'm just gonna do a little bit more work because I'm in the mood, sit on my couch and watch an episode of Emily in Paris. That's what I did last night to wind down, drinking some chamomile tea and it was a good vibe and I slept really well. So, oh my gosh, this literally happened last night when the paper fell in there. It's because I'm vlogging at the same time, I think that's why. But, um, yeah. I'm gonna go cozy up on the couch, watch a little Emily in Paris, finish a couple more emails, and then head to bed because I'm going to Pilates again in the morning. Good morning, everybody. I'm packing my bag for Pilates. This is my friend Kenzie and Jess's brand, The Okine. Look how freaking cute this is. Wallet. I take a ginger shot sometimes before I work out just to kind of refresh the system, which is like really weird. A LaCroix, I drink sparkling water, and regular water I work out. Big, big beverage girly. Big beverage, I mean mainly the water, but like, if I start to get anxious for some reason, I don't know why, but sparkling water helps me. Really weird thing. Um, hand sanitizer, lip balm that I'm actually going to put on. My tan is just all over the place. I'm just letting it come off. Um, set is, it's a set active week, huh? Set is set active. Guys, I just found these mini platform UGG dupes on Amazon because they're literally sold out, so. Found these on Amazon. I'm gonna wear them for the first time today. They're really cute, but I can't tell if they have much ankle support. It's 50 degrees today, so I don't need to wear a jacket under my, um, 
or yeah, I don't need to wear a zip up under my whatever. I just can wear the puffer jacket, so. This is the fit, we are going to Pilates. I feel like naked. Oh, because I don't have my jacket on. Duh. Wearing my good old Sam jacket. This thing is just so warm. I wore it all last winter. It's a little bit pricier, but it's lasted me so long. I love it that it's a long one. And this belt is so underrated. It really just snatches you in. It's got like these things. I'll have a link down below to like my winter clothing staples folder that has like this on there, my favorite leggings, just a ton of stuff on there that is fun. And we're gonna go, I go to New York Pilates, I've been really loving it as you guys know. And then we're gonna come back and get ready for the day. Look how fun this is. Okay, I just ate breakfast, showered really quick, got ready really quick. This is Kosas Vegas lipstick, it's so pretty. Brooke and I have an in-person meeting today, which is always really fun and exciting. I love being able to get dressed up. I'll show you guys my outfit. Um, we're meeting with a clothing company, actually, to discuss potential collaborations, which is fun. So, updates to come there. We're going to <sighs> Citizens of Soho. It, like, fully looks like it's about to rain. Should I bring an umbrella? Probably. I adore my outfit today. I really, really like it, so hopefully I can get a picture because I'm obsessed. Top is Princess Polly. Blazer is the Frankie shop. It's like supposed to be oversized. I think it's like a one size situation. Not sure. Jeans are AG jeans. And then I just got these boots from Vince Camuto. I love them. Um, and then my bag is Stodd hair. I just tried to revive from the last few days. But yeah, I have to head out. This is the fit. And then I'm actually, my aunt is taking the train into the city today. And we're meeting up in Soho and like hanging out. And then one of her Christmas gifts to me was to take me to a musical. So we're going to see a show tonight. So next time you see me, I'll probably be, well, I'll be with Brooke and then I'll be with her. <laughs> Guys, we are so creepy. We just saw, or Brooke thought she saw a YouTuber I, that okay, we follow. I do this a lot where I like will <laughs> pretend that I see someone. And you don't see her, it's like you might. Now I'm wondering if you really saw Emrata. <laughs> no, I <laughs> I know no, that I really looks like her. The, the stroller too. Yeah, it, was like, like, it was like in Soho. Like, no, no, no. I'm so know. joking. I actually remember you took like a quick photo and I feel like that was her. I know, but I feel creepy because I get mad when people take photos of No, us, it was so, a like, selfie. I, yeah, it was yeah. a selfie. I know. And even in this case, like we're so then I thought that she she walked past us and I turned to Danny. I was like, is that bling bling like and she it was wasn't. Like, oh my god, we have to, to Oh yeah, back. I can't, it looked like the behind of her, like the headphones, the bag, like everything was yeah. lining up. She wasn't far off. And, but Brooke was like, let's just, okay, cool. Like, we saw her. so quick that I was like, is that her? And like, you know, I just convinced myself it was so sorry about that. But then Danielle no, was like, no, I'm let's, the worst. let's turn around, go back down the street. So we're walking like parallel to her. This girl probably, I don't think she saw us, but if she did, if she I, did, she, she was probably scared. a little scared. I know, I feel creepy. Because Danielle was like, no, if it's her, like, I want to ask for Like, a photo. I would yeah. actually say, hi, I love her vlogs. And um, that was fun though. So we yeah, like literally. Oh ran oh, as the car's about to hit us we ran down the sidewalk and i was like okay brooke pretend to take a photo of me so i could so we could, i could get in front of her face and see if it was her face not to like get a photo of her it was just kind of like yeah I mean, you yeah. know we were just like i want to confirm that's her before i go off to her yeah basically. yeah because Anyways. because if it was her i would have been so upset if i didn't say hi yes yeah, so not I in like like if we saw matilda oh my god would say hi oh, but like course, certain yeah. people like one time i walked past alex cooper and i was kind of like Yes, like I see you. Salute. Salute. Oh, no. She's a busy woman. Whatever. Well, if you have something to say, like, I mean, we always say, say hi when you see us. Like, every genuinely. Yes, so that, not, I mean, we just went yeah. to go do that. Yeah, so I agree. Like, yeah. she's the type of person that, like, I've watched her videos and I, like, relate. Yeah, you, you know, stuff like, like that. You know? Where you're like, oh my God. I, I, exactly. See you, I feel you. So that was our little fun story. We had a great meeting. Amazing big things, meeting. Big things coming. coming. Big year for the gals. <laughs> in Soho with Aunt Dobby. We just got juices. Cheers. Cheers. I think we did this last time she was in town. Catching up, walking around Soho. Fun. So we just got back to my apartment. I cut us up some red peppers and I have red pepper hummus, it's always out. And then the Ithaca hummus, which is so good. Um, and we're gonna have this as a little snack. We're just gonna chill for a little bit. We had a nice walk back from Soho. Now we're gonna chill and then we'll go to dinner tonight and we're gonna see the Michael Jackson musical. I'm so excited. 
I have Nora Jones going on right now and the light in my apartment, it's like pinky purple, it's so fun. We're in my glam room, touching up our makeup and I was like, wait, this is like... Oh, you on video right now? Yeah. I was like, this is kind of cute of us. We can just, you keep doing your thing. But yeah, so we are just doing a little touch up and we are gonna go, there's a couple restaurants. I'm assuming we're in an Italian mood. Yes. Yes, we're always in an Italian mood. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's why I like going to dinner with you. You're always in my in my vibe to do that um, And we're gonna go either Austria 57 or Alice. I've never been to Austria 57. I've been oh, to Alice. That sounds familiar Austria, I mean there's so many restaurants with Austria, maybe, but maybe They're both Italian like West Village Greenwich Villagey and then we're gonna go see MJ the musical yeah. okay, Excited for our done. little Friday night girls night out so fun. I got a beautiful bag today. Yes, she got a bag at Marc Jacobs today. So that was fun. Uh, put this away. Put on a little eyeshadow. Or I use bronzer on my lid. Well, oh, it's kind of easy. Right like now, I'm trying not to put too much in my eye. Yeah. My eye? Oh, is that like an inner corner brighten thing? Yes. That's nice. One side is shiny and one side is... What brand is that? Benefit. Um, the highbrow. Oh, I've had that. The highbrow. Yes, yeah, so you yeah, put it on your They like, actually brow stopped bone. making the one that I, I always bought. But, okay, that's done. Guys, I just lined my lips with Rare Beauty Humble and then I just grabbed this out of my thing. It's Undone Beauty Big Pop of Gloss Touch of Mahogany is the color. It reminds me of the MAC spice color that I just ran out of, so I'm happy. Wow. I like when you put on lip products, like lip gloss, and it's like opaque, like it shows a lot of color. Very nice. Nice and juicy. This is really pretty. I love everything from Undone Beauty, so that makes sense. I'm trying to figure out what to do with my hair. I feel like I literally look like Violet Beauregard from Willy Wonka, because she wears the bright blue with the short blonde hair. Not that it's a bad thing, but I was like, should I? Who would you say from Willy Wonka? The girl that chews the gum. She wears like this color oh. the whole movie. I actually played her in a play. Get out of here. In um, like Montessori school. We did Willy Wonka the musical and I was Violet. And one of my best friends was my mom. Lucy was my mom. She was um, Mrs. Beauregard. So that was really fun. So I'm living out my Violet dreams. But I yeah, I need to, I mean, I guess I'll just leave my hair down. It's already like, I don't really feel like doing the whole slick, slick back situation. But I'll do my nighttime scent, which is Rose, the Rose of No Man's Land from Byredo. I'll show you guys my outfit in the mirror. Oh my gosh, the color in my apartment right now, it must be like a stunning sunset. Like, look at that, wow. Um, here's my outfit, it's kind of dark over here. I just got this dress. It's so cute. I like how it like naturally goes in. It's from NAKD. Hold on, I'm gonna go to my bedroom because you cannot see. That's better. So this dress is from NAKD. Love this blue color. I love like the fun sleeves. It's just so different. The slit, I wish the slit was like a little bit lower for like warm purposes, but that's okay. My boots, it's a Vince Camuto day. They're from Vince Camuto. I just got them. Look at the color in my living room right now. The sunset, so pretty. See, I just need to figure out what coat I'm wearing. I guess I could wear the blazer over top. And went back. Okay guys, we're about to head out for the night. Um, so I'm gonna end the vlog here. We're just going to dinner and go see the musical. Hope you guys enjoyed this week of my life of kind of just getting my life back together and I feel very good. We have a long weekend coming up. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoy this vlog. If you live in Tampa or Orlando, our tickets are still on sale. Maybe we just announced the second night of Atlanta. I don't know if that's sold out yet. So I'll have the links down below if you wanna come see the gals in the go live show. It's really fun. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.